Annyeonghaseyo, and welcome to the Busan Midnight Movie. I'm your host, Donald. Tonight's film is the John Saxon vehicle, The Nightcaller. But as always, we begin with the next episode of Zorro's Black Whip. Last time, the Black Whip was stabbed with a pitchfork. We saw her legs twitch. She was dead, but somehow Vic threw a saddle between the whip and the pitchfork at the last minute, saving her life. Vic and Barbara set up a plan to make Hammond reveal himself, but Vic gets captured, because he's useless. The whip goes to save Vic, but they get trapped in a tunnel with an exploding oil barrel. And now, the moment where all the loose ends get tied together, the thrilling conclusion of Zorro's Black Whip, Episode 12, Trail of Tyranny. Welcome back. Tonight's film is The Nightcaller, aka Nightcaller from Outer Space, aka Blood Beast from Outer Space. Scientists find a glowing sphere that serves as a portal for an alien intelligence, an intelligence that starts kidnapping young women. This movie stars John Saxon, but not as a cop or angry alcoholic father, so you wouldn't recognize him. It also lives up to neither the goofiness promised by its varied titles, nor the cheesiness of its titular theme song. And yes, Virginia, there is indeed a titular theme song. Also, also, something happens in the second half that suggests a movie we'd all much rather be watching, and it becomes infuriating that the movie decided to be what it is instead of what it could have been. I could say more, but I run the risk of boring you more than the film itself will, so without further ado, tonight's soporific feature, The Nightcaller. Tonight's feature is The Nightcaller, and while you've been watching that, I've been trying to solve the mystery of the sinister countdown that's been happening on my island. Last week, Comrade B, the Kaminard Courier, delivered a message bearing the number 2, which suggests that tonight we'll see number 1. But what happens when we reach 0? What is coming? I've consulted my various medium friends for their expert opinion, and they've all said, Death. 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 But that's what they always say. So I'm reaching out through this crystal ball to see what can be foretold. Uh, that This can't be right. I see boundless pestilence, destruction, and despair, but I'm not supposed to visit the States until next winter. Ah oh well. While I try to sort this out, let's return to the second half of the Nightcaller, which abandons all its previous characters and becomes a police procedural instead. No. Really. That's what's happening now. So the future of humanity is to become avant-garde drag acts? I don't really see the problem here. Certainly not as problematic as letting all those young women be kidnapped into sex slavery! While we try to get Liam Neeson on the phone, please take a look at our next feature. Bela Lugosi is the personal gentleman's gentleman of Rasputin, chief advisor to the Russian Tsar. I've been bop clopped and clunked. Can Bela maintain his dignity and purity in the face of the mad monk's orgiastic entertainments? Then what are you doing dressed at this hour of the night? Find out in One Body Too Many next time on the Busan Midnight Movie. Uh, can I play too? I beg your pardon. Well, that's all right. I was just going to have a quiet six or eight drinks if you will tell me which is to be my room. Well, I could even show you, unless you'd rather drink alone. Mrs. Rutherford. And now one. One what? One left? Are, are we really heading toward the end? But, but the end of what? Consali Don, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed yourself, that was foretold. And as always, stay safe, stay inside, and stay spooky.